there's been a Nintendo Direct leak, and these aren't our Nintendo Direct leaks our favorite. Don't we like seeing all these? We're weeks and weeks and days and days. People are like a Nintendo Direct's coming, a Nintendo Direct's coming. This is going to be on the Nintendo Direct, and then we see like this huge list of like all these crazy fucking things. It's always like Zelda Breath of the Wild two. Metroid Prime, Mario RPG, this, this, and that. We see like, all these fucking wishes and stuff like that, and it's always been, it's been like that. Every time there's rumblings of a Nintendo Direct, all of us Nintendo fans get all fucking hot and bothered, and we're like, oh, we can't wait, it's going to be amazing, and then, you know, we don't hear anything. Nintendo's been kind of quiet. Well, supposedly they're making one in February. I heard February 10th. Nothing's been confirmed. We just got to wait and see, but there's been a user on 4chan that posted some leaks for an upcoming Nintendo Direct. But the reason why this is catching the attention of people is that this particular user actually was correct about leaked info from the Princess Peach trailer that came out today. So I don't know if you guys are aware, but there was a Princess Peach game trailer that just dropped. This user from 4chan correctly leaked information from the trailer so now it's leading a little bit of credibility to this individual uh, i think it was like a ninja outfit and like something else that was in the princess peach trailer some of her outfits two of them that weren't previously shown that were in today's trailer so they were correct so now i wanted to talk about what this individual has been predicting or saying is leaked for an upcoming nintendo direct now keep in mind all of this is a rumor Take it with a grain of salt. Nothing's been confirmed. We don't even know if a fucking Nintendo Direct is coming. I feel they definitely need one, though. Especially with games like Princess Peach, uh, Mario and Donkey Kong, uh, and other games. Thousand Year Door. Stuff that's been announced already. But we also need to know if there's any big bangers coming out. And not every Direct could be a huge E3-style presentation. But there's some interesting stuff here that I feel could definitely tide us over if it's true. So right off the bat, and remember, this is a guy who got something correct today, so maybe some of this might be true, maybe but not of. But right off the bat, they are saying that a Fire Emblem 4 remake will be releasing in May. It seems like there's a Fire Emblem something coming every year now. <laughs> I personally don't know how true this might be, um, a remake could be easily made, though, if it's like a, a older Fire Emblem game. It's something they could toss out. Fire Emblem's be becoming a popular franchise. Um, I don't know. I'm not particularly into it, but I could see this one actually happening. May's not too far away. It's, what, a few months from now? That's not out of the realm of possibility, though. I don't think this would be so intense for them to make. It seems like Fire Emblem games are actually coming out quite often. So, who knows? That one doesn't seem too far-fetched because we see Fire Emblem something all the time now. Now, this next one is something that I really hope comes out. And that's the fact that they're predicting that Donkey Kong Country will be getting a new game for its 30th anniversary. So, it's the 30th anniversary of Donkey Kong Country. And I swear to God, Donkey Kong anything is one of the things that I hear the most out of all you guys watching my live streams and my comments, a lot of you guys are like, there should be a new Donkey Kong game. They need to make a new Donkey Kong 64. They need to bring Donkey Kong 64 to Switch. They need to make a Donkey Kong Country Returns game. They need to remake this. They need to do that. They need to do something with Donkey Kong. I mean, having this Mario and Donkey Kong game coming out in February kind of fills a little need. But a 30th anniversary, I feel they're definitely going to do something special with Donkey Kong, and supposedly they're going to be doing a new Donkey Kong Country game for the 30th anniversary. I'm all for that. Even if they redid the graphics like they did with Super Mario RPG, if we get a Donkey Kong Country remaster, I'm for that. Maybe throw in some new levels or something. I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility, uh, especially for an anniversary year. I feel that they're going to do things big for that. Now, the next game, speaking of remasters, we were touching in on Metroid the other day. Um, Metroid Prime 2. Supposedly, they're going to release a remaster, and I've been seeing people 
talking about this all day. I've seen people saying, it seems like Nintendo, instead of making Metroid Prime 4, they're just going to remaster all the Metroid Prime games in the meantime as a joke. And this one, I think, is likely going to happen, especially because we got Metroid Prime Remastered 1 already. Metroid Prime Remastered 2 would definitely satisfy the Metroid fans out there, especially people that didn't get to play the OG or don't have access to it. I like to have all my games on one console, so it's convenient to have like these ports and remasters and stuff coming. Now, there was rumors that there was going to be a shadow drop of Metroid Prime 2 Remaster. I don't think that's going to happen, and neither does this leaker. Nintendo could definitely lay a bombshell, though, if it comes out. A shadow drop is always nice. Now, the next one, we're talking about a re There's a lot of remakes on this leak, which is when I'm we're starting to get in this territory. I don't know. When we start to see remake and remaster of a lot of stuff, it gets confusing because it seems like Nintendo would rather port stuff or remaster stuff. We don't ever see stuff from the ground up usually, which is why I think Super Mario RPG was a nice touch, and I think Link's Awakening was a real nice touch. But speaking of Link, supposedly... I saw this floating around. We're going to be getting the Zelda Oracle games remade. A remake of them Grezzo style. Which I think that's like a, cute, a way of saying like a certain design element where it's like cute. I, I don't know. Um, I looked it up earlier. I was like, what the fuck is Grezzo? So I think uh, looking into it when you see <laughs> Grezzo. And I'm going to search that real quick because I didn't have that up. To clarify what Grezzo Remake makes. I think Grezzo is... Oh, it's a company. I'm so fucking stupid. I'm so dumb. So Grezzo is a company that has basically worked on Mana series of games by Square Enix. They've done like remakes of different companies. They're a studio that they're not technically owned by Nintendo, but they're primarily associated with them. So supposedly they're going to be working on a remake of the Zelda Oracle games. Again, I'm always for um, having revisions and stuff of games. I loved it when they did Link's Awakening, so I would welcome the Oracle games. I personally never played those because I didn't have a Game Boy Color at the time when they originally first came out. That came around the whole Ocarina of Time age. Uh, so I'm down for that. Now, Famicom Detective Club supposedly going to be returning as Nintendo Detective Club, which is focusing on five high school girls solving crime. So it's like a visual novel type of thing. I'm not into the series, but I know that there's a little bit of a following out there, and they've uh, ported over some of those Famicom Detective Clubs, I believe, over to the Switch and stuff. So I don't know. I think reading stuff like this, and I know there's a lot of people who don't like when people make videos about leaks and rumors and stuff. To me, it gets me excited. The more that we see stuff, the more I think the possibility that, you know, some of it, for the most part, might be true. So take it again with a grain of salt, but it's always fun to at least entertain it and talk about it and have, like, a hangout and chat. Again, like I said, the Fire Emblem re um, remake, I think, is really believable. I think that one's the most likely because it always seems like we get Fire Emblem, <laughs> like, all the fucking time. Uh, and then also... Um, I feel uh, that th this next T Nintendo Direct, whether it's in February or not, is going to focus more on stuff that we've already had announced. Like I said, like the Thousand Year Door port that's coming over or remaster, whatever you want to call it. That one I'm looking forward to seeing more of. That's my favorite GameCube game. Uh, Luigi's Mansion is being ported over. I want Luigi's Mansion 2. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion 2. Uh, we also have... Um, other games that were announced. I think there's going to be a big focus on the Peach game, the Mario and Donkey Kong. But I think out of that lineup of leaks, the Fire Emblem one is more accurate to happen. I also think maybe the Oracle one. I've seen the Oracle one a little bit. The Metroid Prime one, I think we're still going to have to wait a little bit on. But these sound at least fairly reasonable, right? So let me know your thoughts on that. What do you want to see out of a new Nintendo Direct? When do you think... The Nintendo Direct is going to happen. Let me know your thoughts <sighs> down below.